There are many kinds of doubts. Some people doubt their husbands and wives. Some people get so paranoid. They doubt many things in their lives and doubt can be destructive. But when we look at the story of St. Thomas, sometimes called Thomas the Doubter, we see a different perspective. Our doubts are not to be feared. They don't diminish us. They don't make us less Christian. Some people see themselves as failures if somehow they acknowledge their doubts. Now, of course, there are many kinds of doubt. For some people out in the world, even the existence of God, they doubt. For some people, the resurrection, the virgin birth, the miracles, they find it difficult to believe and they doubt. For others, it's the reality of the Eucharist, or that God will restore them, or that they can possibly be perfected. Doubts come in many forms. For the disciples, they were hiding away. They were terrified. Their hopes in Christ had come crashing down, and they feared arrest. So when St. Thomas said he would not believe unless he saw the Christ himself, it wasn't just the reality of the resurrection that he doubted. It was the restoration of all his hopes. Everything that he believed in had been taken from him, his security. He wanted it all restored, but he could only have it restored through this encounter with Christ. And what does Christ, first of all, say to him when he appears? Touch my wounds. Thomas is invited to experience the resurrection through the visible signs of crucifixion. We cannot strip crucifixion away from resurrection. We can only know the true fullness of resurrection through crucifixion. Touch my wounds, Jesus says. And of course, we can all touch the wounds of Christ today and the people around us. The persecuted church, we see the signs of crucifixion in the, the many, many Christians who are persecuted in the Middle East and various parts of the world. But there's something more Jesus says. Blessed are you who believe and have not seen. There is a great opportunity in doubt. Doubt is not always negative. It gives us an opportunity to step out in faith, to put our trust in God, to step beyond the internal mechanisms of our own psychology and who we are, to give ourselves to belief and faith. If we experience doubt and we wrestle and we look at the evidence, sometimes it comes down to a matter of choice. If we choose to believe, if we choose to overcome our doubt and put our trust in God, we will be blessed. There is a spiritual reward for this great trust in God.